So today we're gonna do a tag video, the Winterlicious tag. It's a really fun tag. I've watched a few of these videos. I really like them, so I thought I'd do it too and share my thoughts about this time of year with you guys. So if you um, want to do the tag, I'm gonna leave the questions below, and you can um, you can leave me a video response below, or you can send me you know on um, Facebook or on Twitter. You guys could just sort of send me your answers, or below you can leave it in the comments below if you want to okay so the first question is what is your favorite um, winter nail polish so it's hard for me to choose one but I picked two that are kind of similar but they're a little bit different so the first one is from T. Leclerc and it's number 21 and it's called Argent Etine Cela oh sorry if I'm mutilating the French Argent Etine Cela it's um it's like really silver sparkly, really good for this time of year, and I think it looks amazing on its own, and I've also put it over colors. It might be pretty over the color I'm wearing now, which is called Wicked from Essie, this one. Um, so this is like one of my favorite ones, because I like things that remind me of sparkly lights and, um, I don't know, just something magical. I think you know crystals or just sparkles and things like that so of course the other one is a sparkle and this one is from Deborah Lippman collection and this one's called today was a fairy tale I really love this one it has um, some big glitter you see that it has some big glitter and then it has some little glitters in it and it also has a little bit of a like a blue not a deep blue, but like a wintry blue hue to it, so it's not so silvery. It's nice. Okay, so the second question is, what is your favorite winter lip product? And obviously, I can't live without like my Intelligent Nutrients Lip Nutrition. It's like a chapstick, but it's it's all organic and it, it smells a little bit minty, um, so it's not so good if it's you put it on like right outside because it does feel a little tingly but I usually put it on early before I put on my lipstick and I put it on before I go to bed and it's been doing a good job at keeping my lips moisturized. My other favorite lip product is something from Hourglass and I'm not sure if they make it anymore. It's this gorgeous color. I know they don't make it in this container anymore. They make it in a different one. Um, I think I got it like last year and it's called Siren and I'm gonna put a little bit of it on. It looks amazing on its own and it looks even better on top of red lipstick like what I'm wearing which is a YSL color so let's see. So number three is what is your most worn piece of winter clothing? I guess this isn't exactly clothing but I'm gonna count it like clothing because if you don't have any of them on your feet you really can't leave the house in the winter at least. These boots were made for walking that's what they're gonna do. Yep, I love them. They're gray, actually. They're not black. And they're from a company called MoMA. And they're from Italia, but I didn't buy them in Italy. I bought them in New York. My most worn winter accessory. Well, I'd have to say there's two. One is my hat. It's like a Italian man's hat. Was it made in a mohair? Oh my god, it's from Italy also. I like things from Italy. I need to go to Italy. I don't really speak Italian. Biscotti. Fettuccini. Pasta primavera. Buongiorno. Buonasera. What else do I know how to say? Oh my god, I almost said something in Japanese. Number four. Other most worn accessory. Dog crying in background. Oh. My other most worn accessory in the winter are my two doggies. Gotta stay warm. My favorite, my favorite winter scent would be cinnamony, spicy nutmeg, and like maybe a little bit of vanilla in there, and um, maybe some evergreen. Just things that you think of when you think of this time of year. And actually my other favorite winter scent is when I'm in the forest, the smell of the air in the forest with the trees, oh, that's the best scent. And actually, you know what? Eucalyptus trees, eucalyptus too. I like that. So my favorite winter beverage is probably my favorite beverage all year round. 
and it is chai. And I'm not talking about the chai you get at Starbucks. I'm not talking about the chai you get anywhere. I'm talking about the chai that you make from scratch because this week I cracked the code. And I'm not joking. I think I made the best chai I've ever had in my life. I know, it's hard to say it. If you're a connoisseur of anything and you want to be a master at something, you probably would never want to say that. But seriously, I don't know what happened to me. I just came up with this idea to add this little secret ingredient into my chai. And uh, yeah, pretty much think I made the best chai ever. Ever. If you guys want to know about my chai, you need to beg me to tell you because seriously, Pretty much top secret but if you come over I'll make you a cup okay so there is one other drink that I like not as much as chai because chai is like la, the holy grail of drinks and this drink is like la, and that's like you know really good so what drink is it it is hot spiced apple cider and it's not an alcoholic drink for those of you who live in other parts of the world other than the United States because they they think it's I think in England that's something that's spiced I mean not spiced alcoholic right anyone else who knows just tell me because I think that's a hard hard cider or something but in the states it's um, it's pressed apples and last year I moved to Barcelona and I found out that they do not have cider here I was very disappointed I wanted to go back home and seriously I had to like look it up on the internet and find out how I was gonna make my hot spiced apple cider so here's what I did I have a really good juicer and it's this little juicer that um, is really slow and it slowly like grinds up the um, the fruits and the veggies and yeah I make my own cider from scratch it's delicious so what is my all-time favorite holiday movie? I love the vintage old movies and I think my favorite one is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the one from 1964 where Burl Ives was singing and he was that snowman, the snowman was Frosty the Snowman, right? And he was telling the story and I love the songs and I love the reindeers and I, I love the elves and I love, the, well I was scared, I was scared of the abominable snowman but he turned out to be okay in the end, remember? But I love that movie because it just it seems so handmade and so genuine and it had a good message about being unique and pretty much changed my life. Yeah. So what is my favorite holiday song? I would have to say that my favorite holiday song Besides, obviously, like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer for like a fun kid song and a typical holiday song. My favorite song would be a winter song. It would be River by Joni Mitchell. Oh, my favorite holiday food. Yeah. I like the butternut squash soup that I make. Delicious. And I make it with a sage butter. Divine. Basically, it's amazing. And this is my favorite Christmas decoration. What, you can't hang dogs on trees? <laughs> they like to be on them. So, what is at the top of my Christmas holiday gift list? Well, first of all, I celebrate Christmas Buddha Kwanzaa, so I should be getting presents on all those holidays. Truthfully, I'm just thinking about what I can give to other people. I'm not really, not really thinking about myself for a change. And the final question, what are your plans for the holidays this year? Well, I'm not sure yet. So I'll just tell you what I wanted to do for this winter season. And that is, I want to spend time in the woods with my dogs, smelling delicious air and enjoying long walks and spending time with people that make me feel good and being positive and 
dancing and singing and learning new songs and playing the piano and watching old movies and cuddling with my dogs under the covers and eating popcorn and drinking spiced apple cider and delicious chai tea and making pie. Maybe I'm going to make an apple pie and a pumpkin pie and a sweet potato pie. I'm not going to make it that often, okay, because I'm not going to get fat, but I just like making things. I like making soups. I make a lot of soups and cooking. Yeah, I like to cook and get crafty and yeah, just magical stuff. Magical stuff for a magical time of year, you know? Magical. Happy holidays, guys. I told myself daily, daily. I told me so. If you dilly, dilly hard, feels a dilly, dilly way. And if you answer.